Welcome back to our weekly player show here on Talk 101.3. I'm your host, Gary Olmey, tonight talking with a couple of Bears in the person of two seniors, Kaylee Martin, our quarterback, and also Boo Carter, who plays different positions, as does Caleb. Welcome to the show, guys. First time here. Glad to have you on here. And uh, Caleb, quarterback, defensive back, looked pretty good Friday night. Five touchdown passes, 300-plus yards, passing 14 to 27. Is that a typical game we expect out of you every week, just over and over and over, you think? Yeah, uh, yeah you should expect that every week. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, you should expect that the rest of the year, really, yeah. Well, your offensive line did a pretty good job protecting you. But I know you can roll out and throw it with the best of them, uh, run with the best yeah. of them, too. So you you got some really good receivers, though, that you can throw to. you got a ton of them out there. So it's a matter of finding the right guy. I, I know you had to check off a couple of times because uh, they were covering you. But uh, what what's your key when you're looking at receivers? What is your key uh, on a play? you look to, you got a number one, obviously, that you're looking to go to first. Piece cover, you go to number two. Is that... Well, we uh, we have our our reads that we have. So, and all of our slots, I'm I'm coached to. If they're not going to guard them, then give them the ball. So, that's that's really my read. If they're not covering my slots or my main receivers, then give them the ball quickly and let's let's get on with Make the ball. Make it happen. Huh? Yeah. You committed to Miami, Ohio as a defensive Sorry. back. Do you think you'll get a shot? Would you like to try for quarterback there, or is a defensive back? Is that going to be it? You think? Uh, I haven't really thought about it, but I would really want to play defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like I'm... You like a, hitting people? Yeah, I like hitting people, and it's just fun guarding people. Being on that island is, is different. People don't understand if they played on the island before, so, yeah. Well, well, there you go. Was there any factor at Miami, Ohio, that made you like that school? Uh, any The coach, the facilities, the program, or the players, or what? Uh, it, it was really the coaches. The coaches were really, like, all close. Uh, they either played there or they coached there for a real long time. So uh, they showed a lot of love when I went on my official visit, and uh, it just fell in love with the place. Sort of like our coach here at Bradley. You know, we got 10 coaches on the staff that all played at Bradley, mm -hmm. you know, at one time or another. Today. Well, Boo, let's talk about you. you. had a pretty good night, seven catches, 164 yards, three touchdowns. This guy here was finding you, and you were good at getting open, and with your speed, uh, I would hate to cover you. I couldn't cover you. I'll just tell you, you know. But how do you how do you account for getting open? I mean, you were behind the defense. Are they just taking a fake you were giving them, or as a as a decoy? Or how were you so open sometimes? I mean, I probably said my speed. Your speed. Yeah, or or the fake because I'm I'm a little smooth with my routes, so um, I like it like neat, like a little nice and smooth. So when I do it my my route, I get behind. Them. Okay. Yeah. Well, you got behind him several times, and I was telling Damon in an earlier interview that that last touchdown, Caleb found you were wide open back there. It was still just a two touchdown game then, and if we turned the ball over, you know, we might have a problem there. But that was that was the one that's really broke the camels back there. I thought the straw that broke the camels back on that catch there, forty yarder. I mean, you, we're averaging. I was looking fourteen receptions, three hundred yards. That's better than twenty yards per catch. I mean, good grief, guys. Uh, Who's going to stop you like that? And you got so many guys to throw to, and you got guys like Boo back there that you get loose now. Do you like to catch it? Do you like to run the ball on a handoff or an end around or an RPO or jet sweep or something like that? We hadn't seen that yet. I'm sure we're going to, but yeah, we. I mean, we. It just it just depends on like how the other team uh, play on defense. I mean, if they want to play up, mm -hmm. I mean, we go we go go deep. If they want to play deep, we go run it. I mean. Everybody don't, like I mean, if I don't get the ball, everybody on the team they go when they get it, they got some moves and they can get us some yards. So okay, so we all got we got talent. So we just got a lot of skilled players that can get they can get the ball in their hands and go score. What was your deciding factor in, in for you to choose Tennessee? Close to home, the <clears throat> coach Heifel, the staff. Who who was the coach that recruited you most with, besides Heifel? I'm sure one of your position coaches. Yeah, coach um, Coach Nez, Coach Martinez, uh, coach and Martinez. Coach Banks. Coach yeah, Mike. both of them, um, they recruited me the most. Um, but what I like to Tennessee, I mean, it's close to home, mm -hmm. obviously. But um, the coaching staff, uh, how they develop players there, um, the players there that's, that's like, that's freshmen there, mm -hmm. they tell me how they like it and stuff. So, I mean, I feel like I can fit in and I can put on for my, uh, my hometown. You expect that they're going to, what do you weigh now? Uh, right now? Yeah. 190. 190? Yeah. Will they want you to bulk up? Uh I mean, they probably, go, they probably go put me on a 
he did the same the same um, plan as as a 190 player, or yeah. they probably want me to go a little higher. Um, and you'll be defensive back. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play both sides, but yeah. offense too. Yes, sir. Or well, something else that you guys brought to the show Friday night didn't get said a whole lot because they kept kicking the end zone. But you and and Marcus and Boo were all back there returning kicks, or ready to return kicks. Didn't get to return, but just a couple, I think. But uh, you like doing return kicks? Uh, <laughs> that, I mean, that's. That's where people tend to get hurt because you're, you know, mm. everybody's flying as fast as they can and injuries happen sometimes. But uh, what's the favorite part of the game for you? Uh, just, just being on the field. Just being on the I field? Don't, it don't matter where I'm at on the field. I just want to be on the field and I want to help my team win. So whatever Coach Defoe needs me to do, I'm going to do it. Is your coaches, are your coaches that are, you're going to be playing for at Miami of Ohio, are they? Are they in touch with you, you know, or just keeping up with you? I know they're keeping up with you. I see it on social media all the time, but what you guys are doing. Yeah, they're, they, they're, they talk to me every day. They oh, keep they? up with me, uh, yeah, wondering how scrimmages are, the games. Yeah, they're, they're on top of the, the recruitment with me, and they're, yeah, they're, they're locked in with me for sure. So your commitment is solid with them, mm -hmm. your smooth, solid with Tennessee? Because I know you're not signed yet. Uh, are the schools still – Contact you too, trying to hey change your mind, come to us, we're better, you know, we'll do this and that. Are they still after you to? Yeah, they're they're still after me, but uh, you know you got to show your loyalty to right. the team that you you committed to. So I show my loyalty because that's how I am. So. But what you think about the intensity Friday night? I mean, it was great. I mean, that was my first. What do we six eight? Yeah, six eight. Yeah, my first six eight game. I mean, it it feel the same to me. Uh, I still do what I what I do and what I was at. I mean, uh, football's well, yeah. football, isn't it? Yeah, it's the ball on the ground. You yeah. can't see in your hand. You still do it, you do it. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, it was a, the fans were crazy. I liked the atmosphere, though. It was good. Well, Caleb, I know when you came over last year, uh, after your family got moved here in the community, you played basketball. You're mm -hmm. going to play basketball again for the Bears this year? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Well, I know Zach Carver is looking forward to having oh, you yeah. back for the full season now. Oh, yeah. And you look good out there on the floor there. Yeah. You played basketball. Last year at Brainerd, got the Final Four, made All-State tournament there in basketball. But you tell me, you're going to graduate early. Yeah, I am. Get into the uh, what they call the uh, bowl game practice. You can't play in a bowl game, but you can practice, practice. with the team. Yes, sir. Get an early start. Yeah. I'm sure, uh, was that your decision you want to make there? Did they encourage you to do that? or? Uh, I mean, it would be better for me to do that. I yeah. mean, um, go ahead and get a step one step ahead of, of the other players that's not doing it. Yeah. Um, so I can uh, already go ahead. So if I go do that, I mean, I know I can fit in and I can get that starting spot. So Learn that playbook real quick, can't you, up front there. Yeah, what do you guys know about Tyner? What's Coach told you about Tyner? What do we expect to see there? I mean, they won a state title last year. They graduated a bunch of guys too, though. Uh, I mean, they're real physical. We know that. They're always physical. I mean, they're not no pushover team. They've obviously won a state championship. Uh, we just, I mean, we were dialed in. We're locked in with any team we play. So every week, we don't matter who's on the schedule. We're just going to lock in during the week. So. Are they fast on film which, that you've seen? Uh, well, they like they like to run or throw the ball or? Uh, they're they're 50, a run. 50. Yeah, it's 50-50, run but. Yeah, they're, they're a run unit first, though. Yeah. But, I mean, like Caleb said, whoever on the roster, whoever on our schedule, mm -hmm. it don't matter, man. We we go play the same. We're going to come down like we the, we the big guys. So. A coach will tell you guys take one play at a time because you can't do nothing about the play behind you. You can't do nothing about the play ahead of you. Take one play at a time, execute, do your thing, and uh, everything will turn out all right. So we wish you guys the best of luck Friday night. Stay injury free. We don't need anybody else. We had a couple of guys get banged up. We'll see what they do Friday night when we get ready to play with Connor. The heat's going to be a factor, guys. Oh, it's yeah. going to be 98, 99 degrees maybe yeah. Friday at kickoff. Uh, I know you'll be hydrated. I just heard Coach. So he's got gallons of water for you guys to be chugging all day long. So uh, take advantage of that. And I'm sure we'll have heat timeouts as well Friday night. But guys, thank you. Caleb Martin, senior. Boo Carter, senior. The Bears had astounding games last week uh, against McMinn County. Let's look to keep the progress flying ahead. And we'll do the same thing again next week here on Talk 101.3 The Buzz. Until then, we say God bless and go Bears. Go Bears. GB, GB.